Hi, I'm Katie Couric. Welcome to Eye to Eye. It's been a dream 20 years in the making, but Barbara Morgan is finally set to become America's next teacher in space. She spoke with Kelly Cobiea about the upcoming Endeavor launch and her connection to the Challenger disaster. Did you ever have any doubts in all of these years that this day would not come? No, I didn't have doubts, but you know, the day still hasn't come yet. We, we're, <laughs> the, we're hoping to launch August 7th. And uh, we hope that will work. It may, it may be later. We don't, you know, you never know until the real launch day comes. How did Krista McAuliffe's death change you? Um, well, it makes you really sad, of course, um, just like it did for everybody. Um, Krista was, was and is and always will be a great representative of the teaching profession. And we are really, really proud of her. She was, is, and always will be our teacher in space. And uh, we are all really proud of her. And when folks think, you know, th this, is, this mission is symbolic, you know. Um, and, p and I know that people will be thinking about not just Krista, but the Challenger crew and the Challenger mission. And that's a good thing. And I know that they will be thinking about so many people over the years, the, the families, uh, friends, colleagues and people that never ever that the Challenger crew never ever even knew um, people who they, they would be delighted to know but they didn't know them who for so many years have been working so hard at doing at continuing on um, their work and their dreams and I think that's all a really good thing. What are you looking forward to the most? One of the things I'm very much looking forward to the very most is actually doing the work. Uh, the work is, it's like teaching, the work is fun, it's interesting, it's challenging, uh, it's rewarding, and we've worked long and hard at it, and so I look forward to actually doing the work, and I think that's going to be really re rewarding. I am going up doing the job of an astronaut, doing the work of an astronaut, but I'm going up with a teacher's eyes, ears, heart, and mind, and so I look very much forward to, um, you know, doing that with an open mind and being able to come back and take what it is I learn, and right now I don't know what that's going to be, and be able to translate that into how can we best provide wonderful opportunities for my colleagues and our colleagues and our students across. On a personal, selfish level, what are you looking forward to? Those two things.